My name is Eleni. I'm a senior nursing major here at St. Anselm College. And right now we're at the famous Gavois Hall. This is an incredible building that holds the historical nursing program and the wonderful nursing program that it is now. Now I'm gonna show you about the actual nursing labs and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experiences with this program. Let's go take a look inside. Right here we have our nursing where we started. You can see all these cool things that we used to use back in the day. And now we move over to our present day nursing. A rite of passage for the sophomore nurses right before you go into your clinical is the blessing of the hand ceremony. This is a wonderful ceremony that I hold close to my heart along with all the other nursing majors. We're dressed up in our scrubs and we get our hands blessed by the professors before we go to our first ever clinical in sophomore year. The senior beginning ceremony is a great way to celebrate all the past accomplishments that the nursing majors have done. Students. They're dressed in their white scrubs with an upside down bishop's collar. They get pinned by the nursing professors and all family and friends come to celebrate. Let me show you into our community health room. This lab is set up so it's like someone's home, primarily used in our community health class. We use it so you can come into someone's home, assess properly, and be kind and courteous in their living space. Let me show you into our health assessment lab. Welcome to our health assessment lab. This is the place where I learned all of my basic foundational skills to being a nurse. You learn your vital signs, your blood pressure, how to assess someone from head to toe in under 10 minutes. How amazing is that? Not only do you learn how to make a proper bed in nursing, I was able to learn how to change dressing rooms, put insert foleys, and take care of patients with multiple comorbidities in this room. All right, so we are now at our bed search clinical lab. Let's take a look inside, all right? This is the room where I learned to draw up IV medications. Back then it was something that was so scary, but now we do it like it's second nature. In this room, I learned about chest tubes, as you can see, chest drains, incentive spirometers, and any sort of oxygen device. My first ever clinical instructor gave me something that still touches my heart to this day. My first ever pair of medical scissors. I still use them and I will always use them. I was able to learn with these mannequins how to do insert a proper, um, insert a catheter properly, do uh, learn about IVs as well. So, you know, learn about all these different kinds of, this is just your regular peripheral IV. Over here, same thing, I learned how to do catheter care, IV care, changing IV tubing, chest tube right here, and how to properly care for this. This area is meant to be set up like it is in a hospital. You have all your equipment up here on the walls so that you're comfortable when you go into the hospital setting. If there's any sort of need, that way you know what you're doing when you get there. So this is Victoria. Victoria is one of our newest mannequins. She can give birth, which is absolutely incredible. Um, you can assess her properly after she gives birth. You can assess her during birth. We want to make sure everything is moving back down to the proper areas. And that's why we have to like look at, you know, pads and things like that to see how much blood she's passing. And it's very painful for the patient. So you want to make sure you're, you know, being holistic with your care that we really do emphasize here at St. Hudson College. You know, being sorry, and I know it hurts almost one more second, one more second, and then you're done. And then you congratulate them. Not only did she just deliver a baby, but like, she now has to be a mom, and that's crazy. So being able to be there for the mom is thoroughly important, and that's what we learned a lot in maternity. Hi Susie, how are you? I'm gonna be your nurse today. My name's Eleni. How are you doing? Do you have any pain? And they'd answer back, you know, usually you do like a scale of zero to 10. And so on her right now, it looks like we just have some sodium chloride going through her IV right here. Looks like she has an NG tube right here. She's her colic. So nice, well-rounded care happens in this room. We're gonna go see how. Come on. Hal is one of our most high functioning mannequins. He can die, he can come back to life. As you can see, he has IVs on his left forearm. Um, he has some 
electrodes on him right now. Once again, this is set up just like it would be in the hospital critical care situation as well. You have your emergency equipment up on the walls, right over there, you got your code cart, you have your monitor, you have a vent right here, you have an EKG machine. This was one of my favorite labs. It was like adrenaline and you work as a team, which is awesome, which is nursing. Like you should be working as a team as a nurse. Being able to like do all that cool stuff and like be like the nurse in this moment with like your other nursing students. My classmates was so cool. We hung up like IVs, oh, it was awesome. They came in via like emergency ambulance. We had to transfer them to the bed and we had to like hop on and do chest compressions, give them medicines. There was someone writing notes down. We had every single person that you would do that I have seen in an actual trauma here. So we, they do a great job of mimicking the hospital protocol to the school's protocol and making sure that you're as prepared as possible when you do come here. So this is one of our PD simulation labs. Um, as you can see, this is a little baby cow um, set up in a little PD area that we is seen in the hospitals a lot. We had a nursing major come back a couple years ago that graduated saying, this is exactly the kind of equipment she's using in her hospital setting. We have little babies, so you learn how to assess and you even learn how to swaddle. This is supposed to be set up like an office and you know you are taking care of the patient in this office especially a pediatric office she looks so happy and we can see she's smiling symmetrical good movement she's strong we can tickle her toes and things like that you want to be comfortable the moms and the dads are going to be a little bit nervous and anxious so being able to do your proper assessments on the baby in a little pediatric office is really important and we are able to offer that here which i think is really cool so many opportunities in nursing, which is fantastic. I want to do a lot of different things. So, at the end of the day, you make someone's day better. Thank you so much for joining me on tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. This program has given me so much. It has given me opportunities to become a better nurse person and all around a holistic caring individual. We do hope to see you again on the hilltop. Thank you so much. Till next time.